أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد بيض بارك أو سيدي شيخ سيدي محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله سرة Notes from Mudakara of March 20, 2024. Before starting this video, I would like to state that this work would never have seen the light without CD Shelf. If something is wrong, it will be from myself, and everything that is correct is from CD Shelf. CD Shelf delivered this lecture via a live stream dedicated to individuals from diverse backgrounds, whether they were Muslims, Sufis, or otherwise. In this part of the lecture, he spoke about the example of the divine light. Sidi Shaykh mentioned that the light is consistently referenced by Allah in his book from its beginning to its end in singular form, contrasting with darkness, dhulumat, which is always mentioned in the plural. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah is the wali of those who believe. He brings them out from darkness into light. Here, darkness is mentioned in multiplicity where the light is referred to as one. It applies to all the verses of the Qur'an in which the light is mentioned. This is for the servants to know that light is singular, and it proves its singularity and its unity. Sidi Shaykh added that the light is a name of Allah, and an attribute to the totality of Allah's names. All of Allah's names are light, all of his attributes are light, and his essence is light. All that brings one close to Allah is light. Sidi Shaykh stated that the Tariqa Karkariya focuses on the verse of the light in which Allah exemplified this light. While the light is mentioned in other verses of the Quran, in this particular verse, Allah glorified and exalted not only mentioned the light, but also exemplified it with an example. In this verse, which is verse 35 of Surah An-Nur, Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. The example of his light is like a niche within which is a lamp. The lamp is within glass. The glass as if it were a pearly star. Sidi Shaykh explained that Allah described the light with this fourfold example, which is the niche, the lamp, the glass, and the pearly star. This description of the light is not made by a creature, but by the creator. Thus, it will be used to try to understand the concepts of this light. This verse in Surah An-Nur, which is Surah number 64 in the Quran, Allah says in its beginning, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, a surah which we have revealed and made obligatory. Sidi Shaykh explained that it's a surah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms again that it's a surah. It's not an ordinary surah, but a surah and an obligation, fard. Thus, since Allah made it obligatory, every Muslim and believer should work on this surah as it's an obligation. Sidi Shaykh then returned to verse 35 of Surah Al-Nur, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. He explained that Allah is light, Allah, Nur. Then, his names, attributes, essence, actions, and rulings are light. Everything related to Allah Azza wa Jal is light. The heavens and the earth that Allah created, their reality is a light from Allah's light, as Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. These heavens and earth are then considered the manifestation of the light. Humans, created by Allah from clay resembling pottery, belong to the earth. As beings of the earth, humans must pass from the earth to the heavens, to the light, to Allah. The light is like a gate. And it's the supreme veil, al hijab al-A'zam, for one to attain knowledge of Allah Azza wa Jal. Sidi Shaykh then explained that it's not possible to clarify everything in a live stream that includes people with different objectives and backgrounds. Thus, this explanation serves to simplify and to give hints to the listener. Sidi Shaykh then gave an example. He said that if one lives on the earth, then he had the desire to search and seek this light. He would ask, how to move from this earth to the heaven. This moving is not that one will move from a place to another place, or from a time to another time, but rather, but rather 
one will seek his place in the heaven, and then his place in the light. For those who fear to discard this light, saying that it concerns only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has provided an example of this light. For example, if a teacher wants to teach a new concept to students, such as addition for instance, 1 plus 1 equals 2, this concept may be new to the students, so the teacher will use an example. He might say, 1 pen plus 1 pen equals 2 pens, to illustrate the concept. The purpose of this example is to help the students understand the operation of addition. Afterwards, the teacher will provide another example, such as 1 pen minus 1 pen equals 0, to teach them subtraction, and so on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created humans and possesses complete knowledge of them. He said, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. And when he wanted humans to know this light, he gave them this example. In this example, Allah exemplified the light as a niche, mishkat. A niche is like a recess in a wall, with an open side facing the observer, and closed from the other side. In the past, the niche was used in houses and mosques to put a lantern or a candle in it. If the niche were open from both sides, it would not be capable of illuminating the entirety of the house. In this case, the light would become dim. However, if the niche is open from one side only, then the house will become illuminated, allowing one to see everything inside. It is the same with the example of the light. The niche is similar to a cave, open from one side. In this niche, there is a lamp, musbah, and the lamp is in a glass, zujaja. The glass has the shape of a sphere, of a planet, kawkab. The lamp is the source of illumination. The light from this lamp revealed these heavens and earths. Therefore, Allah revealed Azhara and eliminated these heavens and earths from a niche within which is a lamp. The lamp is within glass, the glass as if it were a pearly star. Kawkab Durri. All that the human sees on earth and what exists within it, whether he knows it or not, and all that the human sees in the heavens and what exists within it, whether he knows it or not, is just a manifestation and illumination from a light that comes truly from Allah, but its example is as it was described in the verse. So if one starts to reflect on this, it's as if there is a lamp, like a sun for example, like an illuminated pearly star, Kaukab Dhurri, that when it illuminates, it shows and reveals to humans these creatures which are the heavens and the earth. So that was all for this video. Alhamdulillah, الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا إن هدانا الله. لقد جاءت رسول ربنا بالحق. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون. وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين